Welcome to the artist interview series for Mad in America's online exhibition, Creativity and COVID, Art Making During the Pandemic, which is live on madinamerica.com. This exhibit features artists with lived experience of mental distress and explores how art making helped to cope with the emotional impact of the pandemic. Today's interview is with Nadav Ben-David, who submitted this work of a girl wearing a mask listening to music, laying in the grass surrounded by flowers, titled Making It Through. Hey, Nadav. How are you doing? Hi. I'm doing fantastic. Great. Good to hear. So um, I guess we'll start off. We'll just start off by asking you, you know, a little bit about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Um, so I am fresh out of high school. I'm currently taking a gap year in Israel. Um, I think of myself as a very creative person. I really love um, my favorite, like my biggest hobby is photography. I always carry just this camera around me. I'm always taking pictures of like, um, I don't know. I think I'm always taking pictures of the things that I love around me. So I'm always taking pictures of my friends or just beautiful things mm -hmm. I see every day. And it's really like probably one of the biggest parts about me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very social person. I, I am really blessed. I have a lot of friends and people I love um, I'm very friendly. I really love animals. Um, and That's I really love great. to learn too. What are you planning on studying in school? Um, well, I'd like to minor in some artistic topic, but I think I want to be a child psychologist. Oh, great. So it probably means an undergrad in child psychology. Awesome. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, and so let's talk a little bit about how you got into art making. Yes. Um, so I didn't define myself as a creative person almost ever in my entire life. And probably, no, yeah, most of my life, I never, I was never somebody who, who I thought could draw or could make something. Um, and then, but I would always like doodle and I would always like be doing something. And then when quarantine began, um, I was in my house and I was noticing how much I was struggling to focus. And I was also noticing how much I was struggling to feel productive when I was stuck at home. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of combined the two and it actually began because I needed to read a book and I'm dyslexic and I could not read at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I, it was, I really struggled to read. Um, so I was listening to an audio book, but I still, it was kind of difficult for me because I still was having trouble focusing on just what it was talking about. I still, I still kind of needed something to occupy my monkey brain so I could listen. Mm -hmm. um, um, so I began just painting things around my house. There were these uh, stepping stones on the way to my doorway. And every morning I would just grab a stepping stone, um, walk into my room, put on like my classes that I had to listen to. And I would improvise what I wanted to paint. And mm -hmm. it wasn't and he, it wasn't great at first. It was just like small, simple things. I think the first thing I painted was like a Pikachu. Um, but no, I think it was actually SpongeBob. Um, yeah. But I just really liked it. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I started putting the stones outside and my neighbors started commenting. And Oh, that's um, great. So you painted the stones themselves and then you put them outside? Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, that's great. Um, that's great. Yeah, and something that really motivated me is I just kind of noticed my neighbors would walk by and the, it would just take a second to notice it. And sometimes they would smile and oh, it yeah. felt really great. Yeah, yeah um, I love that. And then I started becoming a little more just like ambitious with what I wanted to do. And then I started to kind of just start have fun with having fun with it and I enjoyed it more and more. But it really began, began not as like a effort to make art pieces as it was more a uh, coping mechanism for myself to focus yeah so it so it did help you focus it, it, you felt um more able to 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 pay attention longer while you're doing these yeah. these drawings yeah and i find that too you know it's it's almost like a meditative state right like um when you're it really is yeah mm -hmm. yeah you mentioned the monkey mind and i wonder do you do you study buddhism or anything or meditation yes Yes, yes. <laughs> make up that term. Um, yeah, I figured I, that. <laughs> I, I love, love, love um, Buddhist practices. And I think there's so much to be learned from it. And I find it super helpful for me personally. Sure. Um, it's just the type of brain I have. But um, yeah. 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 
Great. Um, so um, you mentioned painting and photography, um, you know, of, of the mediums that you've you've encountered in your your explorations of, of art. Um, what do you feel is your your favorite or even themes or topics or, or subjects? Um, so I think my favorite is photography, um, just because um, I feel I I've been taking I got my first camera freshman year in high school. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of always took photos of my friends and I always kind of felt like this need to be documenting um, my friends and my life and the people around me. And I, I think part of it was another coping mechanism because I was kind of afraid of losing the moment. I was kind of afraid of um, losing what I loved so much at mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. And something about taking a picture, there's no way I could forget those details in the photos couldn't lie they couldn't change what I felt and what I saw in that moment would stay forever yeah. um and I still now and now it's just truly one of my favorite things in the world so you explained a little bit um you know in the beginning about how the pandemic the your art making uh helped you with the pandemic um but I, I'd like you to expand a little bit more um you know how how yes this I'd love to particularly helped you yep well, I think two main reasons. Um, the first is during the pandemic, I think something, especially something like high school students, where there's a lot of pressure to constantly being, be productive, you kind of learn to prioritize productivity over your like emotional well-being and things mm -hmm. like, like that. And to some extent, um, when you have such an active life, like going to school every day, when you're stuck at home every day, you, you grow this emptiness of, I'm not doing anything. And it start, you start to feel like a little gross with yourself. And I think there's a flaw in that as well. I, I feel like it's an important lesson to learn to be able to do nothing and be content with it. Mm -hmm. But it, it really helped me. I, just the fact that I would wake up and even if I had done nothing the whole day, just, just the fact that I made art, just the fact that I made something that wasn't gonna change and that was gonna stay mm -hmm. made, made me feel like I was progressing and it made me much less anxious um, it didn't make me feel like I was just like wasting time. And um, the second and more meaningful reason for myself personally is I think at the time I was going through a lot of heavy emotions and heavy feelings. Mm. And um, sometimes you just don't know what to do with those feelings. They just kind of feel like a negative thing that just exists in your life. And that's all you can do with it. Um, but art gave me the opportunity to kind of do something with them um it kind of let me put my own pot of spin on intense emotions that i was having mm -hmm. it let me take something like a really crippling fear of or just a really crippling feeling of anxiety or something like that mm -hmm. and i would try and articulate it and express it through something and then it wasn't just a feeling that made me sad it was the reason i had created an art piece um and it was like uh, an opportunity to kind of reclaim um my emotions mm -hmm. and it was it was really helpful that's really great yeah definitely and and it sort of brings us into you know uh, another question that that kind of broadens that for people where you know how do you feel art itself is healing um you know we have these hashtags out there now art heals music heals you know things like that where you know people are really talking um about how um, these are um, such healing practices. And I wonder if you could talk to that as a, a more generally, you know, how is art healing um, for, yes. for the, you know, coming out of this trauma, the pandemic, you know, our global world and the state that it's in, you know, how do you feel art uh, can, can be a, a path for us to heal? Well, I think that's such a wonderful topic and question. I think I think first of all, the first thing that comes to my mind is I've learned just a lot of lessons through the process of art making. I think when I began art making, I was very focused on the product. Um, I was worried as I was making art um, that like it wasn't like I I was just worried about what it would look like at the end. I was constantly making judgments as I was making my art, like oh this doesn't look good, this isn't gonna look good. Um, and then as I kind of became more and more comfortable and started to enjoy the process more, I became less focused on the product and more in the creation process. And it kind of 
um, taught me a lesson about like judgment. Um, just for myself personally, like before I judge what I've started to draw or started to paint or before I judge a feeling I have in like kind of comparison, um, let's like let it be created and um, kind of let it be a story less than it be a product. And I think it kind of is very freeing. Um, and I think like it just, that's an example of just like lessons I learned. And I think also um, it's a very healing process because like I said before, it can kind of give you the opportunity to process and reclaim emotions mm. um, and feelings, especially intense ones. But I also think art does a beautiful thing of um, giving you something to kind of, not necessarily just distract you, but to kind of calm you down. Like for me, I know when I'm anxious, picking up a pet, like I'll like start like scratching myself or I'll like pace around. Once I begin doing a piece of art or I start drawing, at first it kind of just, it's like begins as like this erratic, like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. But then as I become distracted, it soothes me mm -hmm. and it kind of eases me into a different state of mind. And the last thing, and for me, something that's been super impactful is it's been tremendous on my confidence. Um, I, I still think, even though I've only been doing art for about a year, and when I made this mural, it was also um, at the very beginning of my art experience. It was the first big piece of art I had ever done. Um, and it's something that I feel like it's, it's a little more difficult for me to be proud of now because I feel like I could do it better now, but it's kind of the beauty of it. It's kind of like, where I was at at the time and all it symbolizes. And at the time when I made it, I was so proud of it because I had put so much work into it and it gave me something to feel good about when I didn't feel so great about myself. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it, it helped me build a, build a sense of confidence and eventually a sense of identity. That is so great. That's, that's in a nutshell, you know, three really, really wonderful, important things that, that, art, that art does. I, I agree with you. <laughs> and and it does the same for me and I know for a lot of people feel the same way well I, yeah, I'm wonderful. so happy to have um, spoken today with you about this um, your thoughts were really wonderful interesting um, and so Thank inspiring you. really inspiring and yeah and if I could just say one last thing yeah um, sure I think um, like especially because I never assumed I would be an artist or a creative person Mm -hmm. I like, would never give myself the opportunity to like try. Um, but I think talent comes from more of a place of interest and passion than uh, innate ability. And I think if I could learn how to draw and paint in like a couple months, it's, it's such an approachable and th something I just recommend to anybody. Even if you right. never considered yourself somebody who could do it, just don't be judgmental to, your, to yourself. Be a, an open-minded person and give yourself the chance to maybe prove yourself wrong. What an awesome way to end the interview. It's just this hope for, and the accessibility of art. Um, and uh, also, how can people um, see your work? Um, oh, I would, that's a great thing. Um, <laughs> my photography and my um, personal art all goes to my Instagram account, which is Nadav's Art. Great. It's N-A-D-A-V-S-A-R-T at Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, yes. Nadav.